Guys, a report says that 30% of the warehouse operations can be automated with the right technology that is leading to the significant cost saving and efficiency. And as we step into 2025, companies are racing to optimize their supply chains. And guess what? SAP Extended Warehouse Management or EWM is at the forefront of these particular transformation. Hello and welcome everyone to this video on roadmap to become an SAP EWM consultant by Zarentech. Now, if you ever ordered something online or wondered how it gets the warehouse to your doorstep so quickly, then guys, that's where SAP EWM comes in. It's like having a GPS for warehouse operation that basically ensures everything runs smoothly and efficiently. And guys, as businesses face the increasing demands for speed and accuracy in their logistics, the need for skilled SAP EWM consultants is skyrocketing. In fact, the recent report shows that job openings for SAP EWM are expected to increase by 25% in next year alone. Now here, the question comes, what does it take to become an SAP EWM consultant? So worry not because in this particular video, we will break down the essential steps that you need to follow from the understanding for basics to getting the hands-on experience with SAP tools. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our Zarian Tech YouTube channel and hit that bell icon for regular updates from us. Okay, now here we have divided this complete roadmap into 14 essential steps. So let us start with our step number one, Master Warehouse Management Foundation. So now this step is to build a solid foundation in the warehouse management. This includes learning core concepts such as receiving, storage, picking, packing, and shipping. So here you will also need to understand the warehouse layouts and the inventory control basics. So these skills are crucial because they form the backbone of SAP EWM processes, helping you to manage the warehouse operations efficiently and effectively. Next comes our step number two, learn the SAP EWM module fundamentals. So here you will basically familiarize yourself with the fundamentals of the SAP EWM module. This includes mastering the inbound and outbound processes, storage management and system integration with other modules like materials management and sales and distribution. So these integrations basically ensure the seamless communication between different systems in your organization that is enabling the end-to-end -end process optimization for that. Now moving on to our step number three, complete SAP training and certifications. Now to validate your knowledge, you will complete the formal SAP EWM training through platforms like SAP Learning Hub or Zarentech and obtaining certifications such as SAP S4 HANA. Certification basically demonstrates your expertise and boosts your credibility in the job market right now. Now moving on to our step number four, master EWM data management. So master data management is critical for basically ensuring accurate and consistent warehouse operations. Basically, you will learn how to set up warehouse master data, including the storage bins, handling units and packaging materials. Next comes our step number five, develop the SAP EWM configuration skills. So configuration skills are the very essential part for tailoring SAP EWM to meet the specific business needs. You will need to configure warehouse structures and storage strategies while setting up processes like put away, picking and replenishment. And these configurations will allow businesses to customize their warehouse operations for their maximum efficiency. Okay, now moving on to our step number six, master inbound and outbound processes. So inbound and outbound processes are at the heart of the warehouse management. So here you will learn how to configure goods receipt and put away strategies while implementing the picking, packing and shipping processes and mastering these areas ensure that inventory flows seamlessly through the supply chain. Next comes our step number seven, learn the cross module integration. Now SAP EWM doesn't operate in isolation. It integrate with other modules like MM, materials management, SD, sales and distribution, TM, transportation management and QM, quality management and understanding 
These integration allows you to connect extended logistics processes across the departments that is creating a unified system that enhances the operational efficiency there. Next comes the step number eight, master advanced EWM features. So as you progress, dive into some advanced features of SAP EWM. This includes implementing wave management for efficient order processing and cross-docking strategies for faster inventory turnover. Now moving on to step number nine, gain the real world experience. Now here, participate in real world projects where you can basically design and configure warehouse solutions. Work on live projects that basically help you understand the practical challenges like tight deadlines or complex client requirements and that teaches you how to solve them effectively. Next comes our step number 10, implement SAP best practices. Okay, now to deliver the top notch results, you need to learn the implementation of industry best practices in the warehouse solution. So here, focus on optimizing stock placement strategies and improving the order fulfillment processes. Next comes the step number 11, develop troubleshooting skills. So guys, no system is perfect, which is why troubleshooting skills are essential for any SAP EWM consultants. So here, learn how to debug warehouse process issues and resolve system integration problems quickly. So strong problem solving abilities will basically make you indispensable asset when technical challenges arise. Next comes our step number 12, enhance communication skills. Now, technical expertise alone isn't enough. You need the strong communication skills also. So here, learn how to create the clear process documentation that stakeholders can easily understand. And additionally, develop strategies for managing stakeholder expectations effectively during the project implementations. Now, moving on to step number 30, master reporting and analytics here. So reporting is also one of the critical aspects of warehouse management. You will learn how to generate performance reports using tools like S4 HANA Embedded Analytics. And these reports help businesses in informed decision based on the data. And finally comes the step number 40, build SAP community engagement. So here, try to engage with the broader SAP community by participating in forums, webinars, and knowledge sharing platforms focused on EWM topics and networking with other professionals allows you to stay updated on the latest trends while building the valuable connections with them. Okay, now in conclusion, becoming a successful SAP EWM consultant require more than just a technical knowledge. It's about combining foundational skills with advanced expertise while continuously learning from the real world experiences. So. By following this step-by-step -step roadmap, you can position yourself as a highly skilled professional ready to tackle any challenge in the field of extended warehouse management. So that's all we have for this video guys. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to our Zaren Tech YouTube channel for regular updates like this.